today on Be Something Wonderful, how to change your reality right now when it seems unchangeable. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, good morning and welcome back to the studios of Be Something Wonderful here in Las Vegas. Big video today. We released two big videos yesterday, one on the public channel. And I want to talk about, there was a comment from a, a subscriber and who's also a member of the membership channel. Had a, his name is Steven. He had a very powerful comment that I want to unpack a bit today. And also there's been comments on the membership channel, some insights on that powerful video. So both of those relate to what we're going to talk about today. And, and these are the questions that come up, and this is what come up, came up yesterday in a, in a session with a client. Tom, how do I experience a different reality? How do I shift to a different version of myself? How do I change my assumptions and beliefs about reality? Hear this. In all cases, as they ask those questions, it's interesting because, the, because their attention is not on reality. Do you see it? Their, their attention is either on the present, solid, immovable reality that they believe is reality, or the past, the fixed, unchangeable past, or a future that seems out of reach and never to come. None of those are reality. As I quoted from Vadim Zelin yesterday, I was quoting from in the membership video, very powerful. I was quoting uh, Vadim from his book, Tufti, the Priestess. And in that book, he said, reality is what has never been and what will never be and only exists in the present moment. Do you, do you see this? It's only that moment. In other words, what he was talking about is the illuminating the, the frame of reality, illuminating the, what you believe is the present moment or the frame of reality. Most of the time, our attention is on what's going on around us. What, what's happening, what has happened, or what happened, or, or what might happen in the future. None of that's reality. Do you see the power here? This is what we talked about yesterday. Reality is only this moment, this illuminated frame. In other words, reality is only what you're imagining, assuming, and affirming within at this moment. Wow, that's why all the spiritual greats say imagination is the only reality. This is powerful. That was in the membership video yesterday. So we're going to touch on that, but I want to go, I, I want to go further with this today. So if you're interested in that, see that for some background and also yesterday's video on the public channel. How do I experience a different reality? How do I shift to a different version of myself? How do I change my assumptions and beliefs? Remember, it's not about changing anything. All of that implies there's something outside of you to change. There's something outside. Instead, you're choosing from within all that you are. You don't experience a different reality. Your experience is reality. Do you hear it? There's no other reality out there to choose. You are reality and your experience is reality. And you choose that. How? By illuminating that current frame, by focusing on what you love, by imagining, assuming, affirming what you love adds that love, adds that awareness. We're going to talk about that more today. You don't shift to a different version of yourself. You're always all versions. You don't, do you see it? We talk about that idea shifting to different realities and versions. But what is, what's really going on is that you're all realities, all versions taking on a certain perspective or viewpoint or vantage point as that awareness of being. In other words, deciding what you're going to be aware of. And that becomes your only reality. You choose who that all is. Do you see it? As all that is. You don't change your assumptions and beliefs. You choose what you want to assume and believe in every moment by what you're putting your awareness on, what you're aware of. Remember, what you're aware of you believe. So it's not trying to believe or trying to change your beliefs and assumptions. It's what, what are you going to be aware of? That's what you assume is reality. Do you see it? So you choose and create your experience of reality in every moment. It's not outside of you. This, we're going to expand on this a little bit more. Nothing changes out there. 
Reality doesn't change out there. Your identity or version of you doesn't change out there. Your beliefs and assumptions don't change out there. Do you see it? Nothing changes in that changeless reality, in that all that isness that you are. And nothing out, and there's nothing out there but you. Do you see it? We get preoccupied with what's, what's happening, what has happened or what happened in the past, or what might happen in the future. None of that is reality. What's reality is, your, is, is this current moment, this now moment, that illuminated frame. What you're imagining, right? But what happens? We look around, or we, folk, we look around at what we believe is reality around us. The people, places, and circumstances, and conditions. And then our, we, and we focus certain thoughts and feelings on those. Or we have thoughts and feelings or memories of a past that we believe was reality, solid and unchangeable. Or a future that seems to never come that we hope for. None of that's reality. What's reality? What you're imagining, illuminating right now. That current frame, as Vadim Zeeland said, and I covered in yesterday's video. Remember, nothing changes in that changeless reality, in that all that isness that you are. And there's nothing out there but you. So you, your experience of and as you, is the only reality. It's all you. You're not changing, you're choosing from all that you are. But it doesn't, but you don't, it's, it, it, it doesn't change who you are. It gives you a, you become more aware of all that you are. Do you see it? You become more aware of that allness, all that isness that you are. You, your experience as and of you is all identities and all versions of you. Do you see it? You, your experience of and as you is all identities, is all versions. You're always all versions of reality. You're always all identities. You're always in all realities because you are reality, but you choose your experience. And how you do that is what you decide to put your awareness on. What you're aware of becomes your entire life experience and is your entire life experience. That is reality. You, your experience of and as you, as all beliefs and, is all beliefs and assumptions. All beliefs and assumptions exist within you. So you're not changing or getting rid of anything. You're deciding what to believe or assume in the current moment. In other words, what to be aware of. That's the only reality. At this moment, what you're aware of, what you believe and assume is the only reality. And you get to choose that in every moment. So you're not changing anything. You keep feeling there's some, there's some reality that you've got to change. So you don't change anything. You, you choose. You choose your experience. You choose your identity. You choose your beliefs. From all your isness, what to experience. So you don't change anything, but you choose from all your isness what to experience, with whom to identify, and what to believe. From all your isness, you choose that by how? By deciding what you're aware of. What you're aware of is your only reality. And, and what do we mostly do? We look around at what's happening in the current 3D conditions, or what has happened, or what happened in what we believe is our distant past, or what we might happen in the future. And that leaves you in, 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 in regret, or uncertainty, or, in unwant, or what you believe are unwanted conditions in the present moment, versus illuminating the frame of how you would like to see reality from that love that you are, what, putting your awareness on what you love, what you want in this moment is the only reality. So you, our awareness, I am choosing who and what to be aware of. Yeah? So yes, to experience something different, which I've said this many times, you need to believe something different. And to believe something different, you need to be someone different. But, hear this, to be someone different, you need to be aware of something or someone different as the awareness of being itself. And you choose what to be aware of. It's choosing in every moment. Do you see it? So yes, all of that's true, right? Our beliefs and, and identities and this idea of shifting realities 
and choosing identities. All of that's true, but it comes from your awareness of being and you choose what to be aware of. It comes from that identity. So your experience as I am awareness is the only reality and you choose what to put your awareness or attention on. As this one Be Something Wonderful subscriber, and he's a member, Stephen, wrote, very powerful, power, I, I pinned it, and I also posted it on the community board. He had very powerful insight, and I, I love the eloquent way that he put it. Here's part of it. You are pure awareness, so whatever you put your attention or awareness on, is what you and your reality will become. He's referring to yesterday's video on the public channel, right? But even more than that, it's not what you will become so much, it is who you are, right? Your attention and your awareness is the only reality. So he's right. You have that manifested experience of becoming it, but you are it. You are that reality. What you are aware of, you believe. So it's not even trying to believe it, right? Your awareness is belief. Whether you believe it or not, this is what his point was, whether you believe it or not, whatever you put your awareness or attention on is your reality, becomes your experience of you and your reality. It was a wonderful point and he said it very brilliantly and I wanted to put it there and I have it, on a, I have it pinned and I have it posted on the community board. So if you want to see the full comments, Right? So it's not about changing beliefs. It's not about changing your experience. It's not about changing your reality. It's, it's, not a, it's not about changing your identity. I know I put that as the title just to show you that because it's about choosing. That's why Jesus asked his disciples that I am awareness, your awareness of being asking you, but whom do you say that I am? Remember that he asked his disciples, who do they say I, the son of man am? We let ourselves be defined by, by a past that seems to have caused the present, right? In a, in a present that seems solid and, and, and unchanged and immovable. In a future that doesn't seem to come, but we don't decide who we are. That's, what are you aware of? Because that's the only reality. What are you illuminating? What frame are you illuminating? We're going to show this today. So... Your I am awareness, or Jesus, is asking you, what are you aware of and who are you aware as? Your identity, right? Are you aware of a past that seems fixed and unchangeable and the cause or source of your present? Because the past is not source or cause of anything. It's who you are right now. In other words, what frame you're illuminating, that illuminated frame, that identity, as the Christ, the son of the living God, is the only reality, right? But if you're aware of a past that seems fixed and unchangeable and the cause of the source of the present, then you're allowing yourself to be defined by that. That's why his disciples, when it, were talking about uh, prophets and, and, and John the Baptist, both, both prophets and people that are both, were both dead and alive, in other words, that were both the past and the present, right? Or are you aware of a present that seems solid and immovable and caused from your remembered past? A present that seems to be caused by some past that no longer exists. And you look around and look at what's happening or what has happened and you believe that's reality. You're being influenced by that. You're being, you're being aware of that as reality and you continue to imagine and create that. Do you see? You're always imagining. You're always assuming, you're always affirming something. But what are you affirming? Are you illuminating an absolutely new frame from all that you are, or is it, are you basing it on, on some past that no longer exists, that seems fixed and unchangeable and a cause of your present conditions? Or is it on a present situation? These present manifested conditions are also the past. Do you see it? They, the only reality is only for a moment. It's what has never been and what never will be. And it exists in that illuminated frame of what you're assuming and believing right now, right? Or are you aware of a present that seems solid and movable, or cause from your remembered past? Or are you aware of a future wish that never seems to come or to be fulfilled? 
The future doesn't exist either. It's only that illuminated frame. So what do you do? Illuminate or put your awareness on what you love as love and reality itself. That's what that awareness of being is. Awareness is love. So when you focus on your heart's desire, when you focus on what you love, what you want, but what you love, not what you lack, what you love. Do you see it? Focus on what you want, but make that what you love, not what you lack, right? Put that, choose your experience of reality as reality, as awareness itself. That's what's real. That's the only reality, right? The frame you are illuminating right now is the only reality. And I drew something up yesterday, very similar, and I, and I wanted to show it here. This was on the membership video where we really unpack these ideas. And you've seen this before, but I want to show it to you again. Remember, this is reality. You have your horizontal or linear experience, but remember, that's always changing. You have the past that's always changing. You have the future that's always changing. And you have the present that's always changing. That current frame is what you're seeing around you, but it's, you're always illuminating it. As you choose what you love from that I am awareness of being, from who you really are, that now moment, that awareness, because this is all now, you create it from that illuminated frame. Illuminate the, net, the frame of now, what you imagine, affirm, and assume, and be aware of reality or what's real. But what do we normally do many times when we're asking the questions, how do I change reality? How do I change or shift identities? How do I change my beliefs? We're stuck here in the current frame that seems solid and immovable. And, and thinking about a past that seems unchangeable and fixed. And it seems like it was the cause of this fixed and unmovable present. And a future that, that really never comes. Right, but all of these are past. That's the past past, that's the past present, and that's the past future. It's all past. Do you see it? And then what happens when you focus there in that current frame, stuck in the current frame, on, you're stuck on what happened, what has happened, what's happening, or what might happen, but not what is real, actual reality, what has never been or will never will be the current moment where you assume and focus on what you love, not on what's happening around you. That's already the past. Right? Not on what has happened or, ha or happened. That doesn't even exist anymore. That's just an idea. And not on a future that, that, that hasn't come. It, the future doesn't exist. It's all now. It's all now. You're creating this. And, and look at this. Do you see how you get stuck? You believe there's, a, there's some firm horizontal past, some firm horizontal future that never comes, and then some present that you seem stuck in. And you, what happens is as you, as you resist that, as you continue to focus on that, you move to lifelines or film roles, it's always different, that look very similar and solid. Same past, same present of frustrating circumstances, the same future that never comes. It's always different. You're always moving, you're always changing, it's always a new reality, a new identity. But it feels like the same one. But when you're here, then you know that from that present moment, as you illuminate the frame, the current frame of now, as you imagine, affirm, and assume, and be aware of reality or what's real, by focusing on what you love, your desired end, how you want to see reality, not how it seems, that solid reality around you, not what it seemed, or not what it, it might seem like, but what you believe it is right now, you decide all that. It's only for a moment, so you're always illuminating that current frame. And as you do, do you see it? That present frame is changing. And as that changes, it changes whatever that horizontal linear past is and that horizontal linear future. They're just ideas, but you create all of those from this present awareness. Wow, that's powerful. We've talked about that before. Right? So, so forget about what's happening. <laughs> right? You determine what how, you determine your experience of what's happening or what happened or what has happened or what will happen.
And your experience of reality is the only reality. How do you experience that the way you want to experience it? You illuminate the current frame. Put your focus on what you love. Make what you want what you love and come from love, not lack. Knowing that as you illuminate that, that's the only reality, that current frame. This is not reality. <laughs> this doesn't, that's all past now, right? It doesn't exist. Those are all frozen frames, right? It's what you, what you put your awareness on is the one and only reality. That's how to change your reality right now when it seems unchangeable because you're choosing it. You're choosing it from that illuminated frame. You're choosing it what to put your awareness on. And what you have your awareness on is the only reality. And when you do that, you change all time. You change your entire experience. You, be, you become entirely new in that moment. That's powerful. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful for joining us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, our TikTok at Be Something Wonderful and for being part of our membership channel. If you're a member, thank you for joining. If, you, if you're not, check out the link below. We re released a really big video yesterday on the membership channel. We have a live stream coming this Saturday on the membership channel, March 30, 2024, Saturday morning, 9 a.m. Pacific Coast Standard Time. I'm gonna to come to you live, our third live event of the year, our, our 12th live event on the channel, and we're gonna broadcast live from the studios here at Be Something Wonderful on the membership channel, touching on questions and topics that you've been sending to us at info at besomethingwonderful.com. Keep your questions and topics coming. Creators with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude. This is Tom Karen here in the studios of Be Something Wonderful in Las Vegas. Until next time, we'll see you soon.